My name is João Soares and I'm professor at VCU College of Engineering in the Department of Mechanical and Nuclear Engineering. I have been here since 2017 and what I'm going to show today is our collaborations with surgeons and cardiologists at Children's Hospital of Richmond on uh, congenital heart disease. Uh, essentially, we provide the surgeons with uh, uh, models that help them out to figure out how, do sh how should they fix the hearts of these little babies. Sometimes, um, whenever the fetus is forming, um, babies are born uh, with heart defects. Uh, some malformations occur when they are the womb, in the womb of their mothers, and then these uh, babies will need to undergo surgeries to correct these defects. Sometimes it's difficult for the surgeons to realize uh, the anatomy or the, how the heart is shaped and how the defect needs to be fixed with medical images alone. So whenever the baby is born, the uh, surgeon and the cardiologist will require that the baby will undergo a variety of different uh, imaging modalities, uh, computer tomography, magnetic resonance imaging, and what is common about these images is that they are always two-dimensional pictures. So it's just like you are taking a picture of one part of the heart, and then you take multiple of these pictures along a direction, and then you are able to create what is called a stack of images. Regardless, by just looking at this stack of images uh, in succession, it's difficult for the surgeons to understand really the three dimensions of the heart. And so what we do in our lab is that we are able to put all these images together and create three-dimensional computational models that represent the heart in full detail and then we can rotate these models, we can zoom in and zoom out for the surgeons to observe and realize how are these uh, malfunctioning structures related to each other. And then they are able to plan where they need to kind of like suture or put a baffle, change this connection, sometimes close a hole that should not be there, stuff like that. When, when we process these images uh, in our uh, segmentation software, we are able to create these three-dimensional models that represent the anatomy of the blood of the, of the heart of this patient. We see here in red the aorta, we see here in blue the vena cava coming from the, from the neck, and we see these in big yellow and clear tan parts, and this gray part, this is the cavities of the heart. So this is the blood that it is currently inside the heart. With these models, we are then able to create these models that are the model of the heart itself without the blood inside. And we are able to cut them in any way that we want to show the details inside to the surgeons. In this specific case, there was this extra hole appearing here in between the two atria that the surgeon had to fix. In addition to the computational representation of the heart models, we are also able to 3D print these models into plastic and give them to the surgeons for them to see in full detail. Looking at this, you can actually put your fingers inside, you can really look about the sizes, and this is an extraordinary help for the surgeon to have before opening the chest of the little baby, and he already saw what he's going to see and he already planned what should be the surgery that it should make. He already find out, found out what was the size of the implants that he would need to use for this particular surgery. Another uh, imaging technique that we can do with MRI is to uh, be able to quantify how does the blood flow inside the arteries. And here we have an example of a healthy aorta of a person and we are able to pick up the blood velocity over the cardiac cycle. So you can see here these velocity vectors kind of like getting bigger when the heart is pumping, and then they kind of like just slow down and then get bigger again for the next heartbeat. With this type of information, we are able to visualize how does the actual flow occurs inside the arteries. In this situation here, we see that there is kind of like a big vortex at this location. As you can see, 
we can provide a lot of additional information to the surgeons and the cardiologists by employing uh, computational models that are obtained from the medical images of each person. With this, the surgeons will be able to provide better care to whoever needs it, and we are always trying to obtain new methods to do this better. Thank you.